Hi. Hey, thanks for joining me. So today I thought we would do maybe a little bit of a shorter length flow, something that would be easy for you to fit in your day. You know, sometimes even an hour is too long for us. We are busy. Our lives are go, go, go. Even during this time um, in our lives, in a season in our lives, we're still busy. We still got a lot going on. So I thought I would just put a 30 minute flow in there, something to get our blood pump in and to feel, you know, ready to take on the day. So we're going to start in a seated position. Okay, cross-legged preferably, but I understand that that doesn't always work for our hips. So feel free to sit in whatever position feels good to you. Hands resting, palms down. Would you take a big breath in? And open mouth, exhale, side out. Let's do that again. Inhale. And open mouth, exhale, side out. Close your eyes for a moment. Connect to your body. Feel where you're at in this space and time, not for comparison, but just for knowledge and understanding. Feel how your breath moves in and out of your body. Your spine. We're just going to start to add gentle movement. Eyes can stay closed. We're just going to start to circle our torso around. Like I said, eyes can stay closed or you can feel free to open them. Just begin to make circles, noticing all the sensations along the way. Take these circles at your own pace. Breathe. Oh, we'll stop and go the other way. Circle the other way. Your eyes are open. Close them for just a second so you can Release some of those other senses and really feel what's happening in your body. And begin to find your way back to center. Eyes gently open if they're closed and we'll switch. If your legs are crossed, please bring the other leg in front. We'll just work with a little seated cat and cow. So inhale, lift your chest up to the ceiling. Exhale, drop your chest around your back. Pull your belly button into your spine. Drop your chin for a seated cat. Inhale, lift the crown of your head and your spine. A little sway of the back for cow. Exhale to that cat. Inhale to that cow, flowing between the two. Exhale for your cat. Inhale for your cow. Two more times. Good, inhale, neutral spine. We'll slide our legs straight out in front of us. Sit up nice and tall. Start to point and flex your feet a couple of times. Really pull those toes back towards your knees. Pull your feet in so that they are parallel to each other. Feel that stretch on the outside of your calves. And release. Left hand goes down. Lean into that arm. Reach your right arm up overhead side stretch. 
Inhale, switch. Oh, yeah. Take it over. Good. Inhale, switch. Inhale, switch. Flowing from side to side, opening up that side body. Yeah. Good. We're going to add a little bit on the next round. So we're going to come over. We are going to bend into that arm. We're going to um, roll ourselves forward. The right arm is going to sweep all the way to the floor. And that left arm is going to come up overhead. Okay. And again, forward. No precise movement here. Just what feels good to opening up that body. Rolling back and forth a couple of times. Pay attention to your low back and your spine. Oh, one more. Good. And bring it back to center. We'll take our right leg. We're going to bring it back behind us. If you can place the top of your foot on the floor, pull it in a little bit. Flex that left foot. Inhale, right arm goes up. Exhale, release. Inhale, left arm reaches up. Exhale, release. Inhale, right. Exhale, down. Inhale, left. Exhale, down. One more each side. Last one. Good. Bring both hands down. Slide your right foot out. And slide that left foot back. Probably not the most appropriate for me to wear black pants on a black mat. Sorry about that. Inhale, left arm. Exhale, lower. Inhale, right. And lower. I'm going to try to move that foot in a little bit closer. Good. Oh. Yes, good, beautiful. Let's bring ourselves onto all fours. Full meal deal, cat and cows. Inhale, cow, let the belly drop. Exhale, cat. Flow back and forth between the two. And just let your body move as freely as it can. Making space. We'll have some different types of moves today. So be very aware of how your body feels about those moves. Allow yourself freedom to change them and shift them for what is appropriate for your body today. Bring it back to a neutral spine. Okay, we're gonna take our left leg, we're gonna shift our weight over to the right. We're going to take our left leg and we're going to just tap it out to the side. Okay, and we're going to bring it back. And we're going to alternate right foot taps out to the side. And bring it back. And we'll go to the other side. Not trying to bring it too far up quite yet, okay? Just opening up those hips. A couple more times. Oh, you can start to lean into it. So as I bring my right foot around, I'm going to lean my body over to the right. Oh, yeah. Left and lean into it. Good. Right. Lean into it. One more time. Each side. Left foot. Lean. Yes. And right foot. Lean. Good, come back to center. This time we'll take that left foot out to the side. Turn the foot away from the body so it's pointing away from the body. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, come down. Left foot pulls in. So even though we are flowing from side to side, ooh, that sounds tight. We are conscious, yes, of how we are pulling that leg back in. 
how we are placing it up to the side. Okay, that we are doing good for our bodies, not creating anything that our bodies need to heal. Okay, one more to each side, left foot comes out. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lower. Inhale, right foot gets out and rise. And lower, good. Come back to all fours, fingers spread wide, toes curled under, exhale, downward facing dog. Take just a moment of pause to pedal your heels. Stretch your chest back toward your thighs. Inhale, look up to your hands and exhale, walk your feet forward to the front of the mat. Plant those feet, engage your core, inhale, high mountain. Big reach here, exhale, chair. Inhale, high mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Good, let's do that one again, okay? Here we go. Inhale, high mountain. Exhale, chair. Inhale, high mountain. Exhale, forward fold, good. I'll change those pants. Two more times, inhale, high mountain. Exhale, chair. Inhale, high mountain. Maybe a back bend, exhale, forward fold. Last one, inhale, high mountain. Exhale, chair. Oh. Inhale high, foot, da, da. inhale high mountain, maybe a back bend. Exhale forward fold. Inhale right foot steps back, lower the knee. Inhale rise up. Oh. Exhale turn your left foot out to the side. Press into that left knee. Good. Inhale, come back, bring your foot back in. Hand goes down. Step back to downward facing dog. Inhale, look up to the front of your mat. Exhale, walk your feet forward. Inhale, high mountain. Exhale, chair. Inhale, high mountain, maybe a back bend. Exhale, swan dive forward, fold. Inhale, left foot steps back, lower the knee, rise up through your arms and your torso. Exhale, turn that those right toes out to the side. Mm -hmm. Lean into the right. Oh, God. Inhale, come back, turn those right toes forward. Release your hands to the earth, step back to downward facing dog. Inhale, look up to your mat. Exhale, walk your feet forward. Plant those feet, okay? Make sure they're solid underneath you. Inhale, high mountain. Exhale, chair. Inhale, high mountain. Maybe there's a back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, right foot goes back, lower the knee again. Rise up through your torso and your arms. Turn those left toes out and lean into that left hip. Lean, hold it. Being cautious and protective and careful with our knees. Inhale, bring it back. Turn those left toes forward, hands to the earth, back to downward facing dog. Inhale, look up to the front of your mat and exhale, walk those feet forward. Inhale, high mountain. Exhale, chair. Inhale, high mountain with maybe a back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, left foot steps back, knee lowers. 
Inhale, rise up. Exhale, turn those right toes out. Lean to the right. Lean into it. Good. Inhale, bring it back. Toes turn back. Hands plant to the earth. One more time, downward facing dog. Pause here. Three breaths. Shake out your head. Inhale, look up to the front of your mat. Exhale, walk your feet forward. Inhale, rise up high mountain. Grab a hold of your left wrist, hinge to the right. Inhale, center, grab a hold of your right wrist and hinge to the left. Good. Inhale, come to center, high mountain again, slight back bend. Exhale, swan dive forward, fold. This time the knee will stay up. Inhale, right foot comes back into a high lunge. Inhale, up. Exhale, twist it to the left. Right hand comes down to that left knee and that left hand hooks behind you. Pull that left shoulder back, hold it here. Breathe into that high lunge. Good, on your next inhale, take those arms wide. We're gonna stay in our twist, a little bit of a challenge. Inhale, straighten a bit, reach those arms up. I would, but I have a ceiling right here. Exhale into that twisted lunge. Inhale, lift, I think I'm gonna take it to cactus arms just because I have this hindrance, but you can take your arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, lunge, it's not a big move here, okay? We're not rising all the way up, cautious with that Achilles tendon. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. One more time. Inhale, a little bit of a lift. Exhale, lower. Hands come back out in front of you, up to the ceiling. We're going to add a little bit of a standing splits here. Exhale, hands to the earth. Lift your right leg up to the sky. You can leave both hands to the floor. You can grasp your leg with one hand. You can grasp your leg with two hands. If you have a bind with your legs, release your hands to the earth. We'll step that right foot back into a high lunge again. Inhale, rise up. We're going to twist the other direction now. Exhale, twist it open. Turn and plant your right heel to the earth. So now you're in a warrior two. Exhale, left arm to the inside of that left leg. Right arm up to the sky, extended side angle. Or you can take that right arm up and over your head. Inhale up to your warrior two. Exhale, take it to that high lunge. Good, exhale, hands to the earth, and we'll step it back to downward facing dog. Three breaths. Inhale, look up to the front of your mat, exhale, walk or float your feet forward. Inhale, high mountain. Whew. Exhale, chair. Inhale, high mountain. Maybe there's a back bend to be had. Exhale, swan dive forward. Fold. Shake out that head a little bit. Inhale, left foot comes back to a high lunge. That means the knee stays lifted. Inhale, fix your pants. <laughs> Rise up. Lift those arms and that torso. On your next exhale, we'll twist it to the right. Left hand comes to the right knee and your right hand binds back behind you, pulling that right shoulder back. Breathe right here. On your next inhale, bring those arms out long. Exhale, inhale, rise up. Exhale into that twisted lunge. Inhale, rise up. 
Exhale, twisted lunge. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, twisted lunge. Last one. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, twisted lunge. Inhale, come back to your high lunge. Exhale, twist it to the left. Turn that back left foot, plant it to the earth. Take a big breath in here. Exhale, right arm to the inside of that right leg, left arm up to the sky, or you can take it up overhead. Extended, um, extended side angle. <laughs> don't even know what I'm teaching here. <laughs> Just kidding, I do. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, high lunge. Oh, I forgot standing splits. Let's do it here. Let's just do it here. We'll do it at the end. Exhale, hands to the earth. We're taking it into those standing splits. Reach that left leg up. Breathe here. Well, at least we know I videotape like I teach. <laughs> Always forgetting something left or right or pose or the other side. 11 years and it's still the same. Big breaths here. Remember, you can bind on those ankles if you want. And then on your next inhale or exhale, your choice, release your bind. Lower your left foot to the earth. We're going to step those feet out away from each other. Toes pointing out, heels pulled in, squat it down. Take it into a squat. Okay, a little bit of a challenge. I don't do this gracefully. I'm going to just tell you that right now, but we're, we're going to do it together, okay? Maybe you make it look beautiful, and I think that is fabulous. So we're going to go from our squat to boat, okay? So exhale onto your butt, legs out in front of you, arms out in front, from your boat, lower to what I call canoe, rise up to boat. Lower to your canoe, rise up to boat. Lower to your canoe, rise up to boat. Cross your ankles, bring yourself forward and all the way to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look or up to the front of your hands, walk or float to your squat again. Yeah, you guessed it even though I can barely talk because I'm breathing so heavy, we're gonna do it again. Okay, here we go. Down to your butt, to your boat. Exhale to your canoe. Boat, canoe, and boat, and canoe, and boat. Cross those ankles all the way through to your plank. Downward facing dog. Big breath in, exhale, open mouth, blow it out, release that hot air. And then lower your knees and press back to child's pose. Nice work. On your next inhale, rise up to all fours. And we're going to take it all the way onto our stomachs. All the way onto our bellies. Okay? And pull up the pants. And we're going to attach our backs and our hands. So I'm going to take my right hand to the floor, my left hand on top. And I'm going to attach my forehead to the top of my left hand. And I'm not going to release. They're going to stay glued together. Okay, a couple choices for your legs. You can zip them up tight, or you can take them a little bit wider, depending on how you want to challenge yourself. So let's start with our legs together first, forehead connected to your hands. On your next inhale, lift. Lift your legs, lift your arms, your head, your chest. 
Exhale, lower. Okay, let's try it together with our legs wide. Take those legs wide. Inhale, lift. Okay. Good. Lower. I'm going to keep my legs together. Feel safer, <laughs> safer on my low back. Okay. Again, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. One more time. Inhale, lift. You can stay right here unless your shoulders can handle it. Slide your hands off your head into a full Superman. Exhale, curl your toes under, set them to the earth. Bring your hands right next to your chest. Inhale, press up to plank. Downward facing dog. Inhale, lift that right leg up and back behind you. Flex your foot, bend your knee, roll that right hip up to the sky. Three-legged dog. Little wild thing here. You can stay right here if you want to flip it into a full wild thing. Feel free. And then we'll bring it back to a dog. Nice and slow. Take it to the other side. Inhale, left leg up. Flex your foot, bend your knee, lift your hip. You can stay right here or you can flip this one too. Good. Now, instead of coming back to dog, we're just gonna slowly come back onto all fours. Walk those knees forward. Inhale, rise up high on those knees. Okay, rise up high on those knees. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, interlace your fingers back behind your back. Hold it right here. Big breath in, out. Big breath in, and out. Good, inhale, reach those arms. Bend at the waist, bring your chest forward. Inhale, come up. Okay, exhale, bend at the waist, lift your arms. Inhale, come up. Couple more times. Okay, this time when I come down, I'm gonna release my hands, bring them all the way up overhead. Exhale, arms come back behind me as I bring it forward. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale up. One more time, back. Inhale all the way up. We're gonna take that left leg out to the side like we started with. I'm just gonna rest my left arm on my left thigh and I'm gonna reach my right arm up and over. And you can stay right here or you can press into that left knee. Good, inhale, come back. Arms come back up, left leg comes in, right leg goes out, right forearm to my thigh, lean and hinge and press. Good, bring it back, arms come up, pull that knee in. Okay, we're gonna balance just a little bit on our knees. Keep those arms lifted, we're gonna take that left leg, bring it around, try not to touch. Shoot, I tapped. And then I'm gonna bring it back around. So I'm gonna try not to touch the entire time. I'm gonna engage my core. I'm gonna bring my right leg around. And I'm gonna bring it back around. And I'm gonna bring it down. I didn't touch. Might not have been pretty, but I didn't touch. Take it around. In front. Back. And set it down. Good. One more time. Other side. Here we go. Right leg. Bring it around. And bring it back. And release. Gorgeous. Release those hands to your side. Nice work, you guys. Let's make it all the way onto our back. Nice and slow. Take your time. Not quite done, just a little bit more flow, but not much, okay? <coughs> onto the back, excuse me. Arms to your sides. Knees bent, feet flat to the floor. 
Inhale, roll up to a bridge. Exhale, roll out of it. And again, inhale, roll up to a bridge. I'm keeping my nice and low. I did some good hard work for 25 minutes. So I'm just gonna keep my bridges nice and easy. Nice cool down here. Inhale, rise up if you haven't already. Exhale, lower down. And one more time, inhale up to a bridge. We'll hold it here. You can stay right where you're at. You can grab the edges of your mat or you can really walk your shoulder blades underneath you and see if you can interlace your fingers underneath you. I'm really giving a good chest stretch, chest opener, lengthening through the back of the neck, making sure those feet and all of your toes are pressing into the earth. Engage your glutes, look up to the ceiling. Good. And then slowly release those fingers and those shoulders, lower yourself all the way down. Take your legs straight out in front of you, arms up overhead, full body stretch. Big reach. Engage or squeeze your glutes. And then we'll bring our arms to our sides bottoms of the feet together, knees open wide, supine cobbler's pose. Take a couple breaths here. Maybe rock your head gently from side to side. And then come back to center. And your next inhale, we'll bring those knees together. Feel free to help them out with your hands. Take your feet out wide to the edges of your mat, knees still bent, a little windshield wiper those knees a couple times from side to side. <sighs> then we'll bring it back to center. And if there's anything left here for you, if you have a twist or a happy baby or a shoulder stand or something you love to do at the end of your practice, Please take a few moments to do that, listening to your body and honoring what it needs and where you're at. Just know that in the back of your mind, you're heading towards Shavasana, mindfully fidgeting your way into it, making sure the legs and the knees and the ankles and the feet are relaxed. Walking your shoulder blades down your back, lengthening through your neck. Just letting yourself be heavy. Giving yourself time to regulate your breath. Feeling the effects of your practice. Remembering always to honor and nurture your body first and foremost. You can't quite get a pose Give it time. This is a practice, a practice, always a practice. Thank your body for getting on the mat. Thank your mind for getting you there. Utmost gratitude.
And then in your next breath or two, begin to bend your knees so that you can roll yourself over onto one side into the fetal position. <sighs> Resting your head on your arm and bending with those knees a little bit. Hmm. I am sincerely hoping that your mind and body feel as good as mine. That you feel a little more clear. And that you're ready to slay whatever it is that comes next in your day or your night. Now begin to open your eyes. Let the light in. Check out the room you're in. And then when you're ready, making sure that you really utilize those arms and that you're cautious with your body. Begin to press yourself up off of the floor. Coming into one more comfortable seat. <sighs> Sitting up nice and tall, letting those sighs come. Letting them out. A little smile on your face. Maybe a little hand to heart. Maybe the other hand goes on top. Bring a big deep breath in here. Remembering what a miracle and a magnificent being you are. You know, everything you need, all the knowledge, the wisdom, the know-how, all of that is within you right now right now you have everything you need right inside of you you got this have a wonderful rest of your day or your evening thank you for joining me again palms to heart center gratitude pose up to that third eye namaste